Mike the Barnacle. Of the Pacific. Yeah. One of the most important elements of the museum is the establishment of memory in mm -hmm. people who have not been to the museum or younger people who don't know what war is all about. The memory of that war and the memory still lives today. You spoke to it last night briefly at the ceremony in that you grew up uh, on a block where everybody on the block served some part of World War II. You grew up in, in an the, army base. It, it, yeah, yeah, in the same area. So your mission to these mm -hmm. memories alive. How do you keep doing that in a culture where there are so many disparate elements? Of well, I think you find the human stories and tell them from a human perspective. That you talk about guy, you know, uh, I, you know, Eugene Sledge, who wrote perhaps the greatest uh, combat memoir of all time, um, uh, uh, with the old breed at Peleliu in Okinawa. Eugene Sledge went through two of the worst prolonged battles. You think, oh, they landed at Iwo Jima, and then it was a they fought at Iwo Jima for what, 65 days? Seven years ago this yeah. week. Yeah. Um, and he got through that without a scratch. He didn't have a single wound where other guys be around him and surrounded him were, were decimated by gunfire and never came back. When you, when you can k tell his story from that perspective of when he's back, refuses to put on a uniform again, has to sit out and do nothing for months and months and months on end to get not only the experience mm -hmm. behind him, but also the realization that for some reason, he came out of it without a scratch. I think that you get into the humanity that relates to as much today, not just celebrating the nostalgia of yesterday. And, yeah. and Tom.